Okay, so our next guest has appeared in films such as Trainwreck and I Feel Pretty, sorry, as well as Hulu's hit series Life and Beth and Comedy Central's Inside Amy Schumer. Take a look. You know, they grew up in a simpler time. Like, my dad's high school girlfriend dumped him because he didn't have enough school spirit. <laughs> Which I think is the best reason ever to dump someone. That makes me want to go back in time just so I can be like, I'm sorry, Wally, you know what's coming. You don't have enough school spirit. It's over. <laughs> oh, don't be cross. I just don't think I can put out unless you get more enthusiastic about the Wildcats. <laughs> I know it's ridiculous. All right, and of course, she can be seen on comedy stages all around the country, but this weekend she is gearing up for a good cause with four shows at Midnight Theater. So joining us this morning is stand-up comic, writer, and actress Rachel Feinstein, along with former firefighter John Sorrentino. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Thank you How for having us. Good to see you guys. Yes. Have you caught your breath yet? Is yes, I just got up here. They, for some reason, they said they didn't trust Jews in the lobby. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Why would they have said such a thing? Um, I'm only kidding. I'm here to represent serious things. Right. Serious things are happening. Um, I'm going to do stand-up, yeah. and we're going to raise money for this... Um, Friends of firefighters, and so I found a very handsome Aww. retired firefighter right. who I'm just gently harassing right now. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> so your shows though are actually kind of inspired harassing. by your husband, aren't they? Yes. Does he well, like being the butt of some of your jokes? You know, he, it's weird because when you're married to a first responder, like, you know, you can't like. It's hard to like teach him anything because like the men at the firehouse have control of my husband's brain for like right. half his the week. <laughs> Like, imagine if your husband was just having, like, sleepovers with five of his friends. <laughs> it's a disaster. Like, these guys undo anything I could have accomplished. Did you feel like that with your wife? Like, it's not... Yeah, it's true. There's, there's, <laughs> there's no hope for you, for you gals. You <laughs> <laughs> gals, I love that. Yeah. He comes home so much dumber. It's like an emergency. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's all for a good cause. You're doing this. So, John, tell us it about is. the organization, the nonprofit. Uh, Friends of Firefighters, what they do is they provide counseling mm -hmm. and uh, support for active re and retired firefighters and their families. Yeah. Uh, their main focus is on counseling, one-on-one, -on -one, yeah. group, couples, or whatever's necessary. Mm -hmm. yeah. And free, they give you free um, acupuncture and massages, too. I want to be a firefighter. I know, right? Right. I, I mean, even get them, too. They give, yeah. <laughs> so you, where, where did you, you worked for how many years in Hawaii? I did almost 25 years. I worked in downtown Brooklyn, Engine 205 and Ladder 118. That's my husband's firehouse, That's by the way. That's his right, Thank exactly. Thank you for your service. Uh, it's a small oh, world, boy. right? Her husband yeah. is the captain there now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did you know him? I, I, I didn't know. I was retired before he got yeah. there. I've met him a few times. Yeah. Nice, nice yes, guy. He'll, he'll have fun there. <laughs> but I love how much pride you have in the fact that he's a firefighter. I do. I use it any way I can. Yeah. Like, I'll be at the park. And I, I was at the park, and this kid tried to take some of my daughter's food. Oh, I was that kid that, like, wanted other kids' food. So yeah. I was like, all right, you can have a piece of it. Sure. So I give some food to this kid. This woman comes running across the park. She's like, what did you feed Madison? I'm like, three grains of organic cereal. So <laughs> she should be dead soon. She's in the winter for a life. I'm like, You're, she's not Tom Brady. Like, what are you fueling this girl for? Oh, Whatever you give her, she's about to, it's going to, I can't say this on, never mind. Yeah, I just careful. thought what I was about to say. It was too filthy. But, um... My point is this. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. No, but I'll say this. Um, you know, I this woman. So anyway, I invited her to go to the firehouse, and I was like, "Come, come by the firehouse sometime, you know." And and then she could have a home cooked meals because all firemen cook. I don't know if you uh. knew that, right? Is that you a stereotype? Cook cook? In the kitchen. Is that a stereotype? No, it's not a stereotype. Okay. The uh, the <laughs> plays into what I want to say about friends of firefighters. The organization got started. A um, few days after 9-11, mm -hmm. Nancy Carbone, who was a, a, she just lived in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. she's actually the founder of Friends of Firefighters, oh, she just wow. wandered into our firehouse and she came up to me and we had lost eight firefighters on 9-11, yeah. so you so could sorry. imagine the chaos yeah. that was going on, so she just came up to me, she said, is there anything I can do for you guys, what do you need? And it was a weird situation for us to be in because there's firemen, yeah. we're the ones helping people, we never right. ask right. for help, but all bets were off at that point, mm -hmm. so we were like, yeah, I need... We could use some help. We had a funeral coming up. We need help with a few things. She goes, whatever you need, I can do it. So I asked her to do a few things. She did it. She comes back a couple days later. She said, what else do you need? I gave her a, a few other things. I said, you know, one of the things we could really use, we could use some counselors here. I said, these guys are yeah. they're going through hell. I said, they're either at ground zero yeah. or they're back in the firehouse 24-7. Then they don't get a chance to go home. There's no rest. So yeah. she says, okay. She comes back the next day. She gives me a, a, a list of six names. She goes, call these oh. people. And we ended up setting up 
counseling sessions in the basement of the firehouse. Wow. While, while guys were working, yeah. in the middle of a session, the bells would go off, they're running out on a run. Yeah. So that's how it started. Then she started branching out to other firehouses, and mm. she eventually opened up a place and the, getting to the kitchen part. Yeah. Their headquarters is now an old firehouse in Red Hook, Brooklyn. It oh, used wow. to was a, it, so it was cool it was no longer a fi yeah. it was a firehouse until about the 1950s or so. And now her organization took it over, and it's the first floor is an old it's a firehouse. You know, you go in there, you think you're in a firehouse yeah. with the nice firehouse right. kitchen. Yep. They have monthly breakfasts, oh, and upstairs like they that. do all their services. And it's Good nice ham. it's nice Good for the ham. firemen because you feel comfortable going in there. You know, right. you know, fi you know, firemen, you know. We don't, um, we don't go to, we don't need yeah, counseling, you know, blah, blah, blah. It needed to look but. like a firehouse, Nancy yes. explained to me, because yeah. the guys are going to want to hang out there. They're not going to want right. to hang out in like some weird, sterile, clinical, you know, clinical looking. Yes. Yeah, they yes. need yes. like a yes. New York firehouse, um, and and they all go there. And it's, in all seriousness, Nancy Carbone, who runs this organization, she's just this lovely, incredible woman. And, right. and the firemen like love her. Like they yeah. hang with her, they, they feel comfortable with her. And, and they're able to do all of these things just completely free, no questions asked for all firefighter families. That's yeah. awesome. So they give them, basically everything is just free from, yeah, like acupuncture to therapy to any weird service your family could need because the whole family is dealing with all yes, the repercussions of, of all the stuff these guys yeah. see on the job and right. and everything. And um, she's incredible. And it, and it it is growing and growing at yeah. an, an, an alarming, so I mean, not alarming, that's the wrong adjective that's, yeah. for sure. Yes. Amazing. Well, it's amazing. Kind of attractive. It's, 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 Growing. <laughs> it's a very sensual, <laughs> sexual right. No, it is growing. Um, speaking of sexual, there will be a lot of um, very attractive firefighters at the shows, you guys. So get okay. Well, but, well, um, that's not a draw. This Friday, Saturday, there'll be a ton of firemen there and, fi and firefighters fire women and men. And I'll probably bring some of them on stage and we'll awesome. talk with them and bring my husband awesome. up and stuff. And we're going to do whatever we could to, whatever we can to raise... Um, an alarming amount of money. Yes, that's for a good one. Of firefighters. Yes. Well, thank yes. you for your service. Well, uh, in all sincerity. Thank you. And thank you for what you're doing because it's great. Yes. It's great to team up together. Thank you for uh, your service. There's a firefighter's you pin can, right that's there, right. too, huh? You can see Rachel <laughs> perform live on Friday and Saturday night, like she said, at Manhattan's West West's new venue, the Midnight Theater. Uh, tickets are still available, right? Yes, there there's go. some tickets left, so okay. get them and get involved, everybody. <laughs> but Hi, now Mom. that they know that all the firefighters are there, it's going to be sold out. That's right. There'll be a lot of foyer foyers. That's how they pronounce it in New York. F-I-Y-A-F-I-D-A. -A -A. It sounds like a little kid trying to say what his daddy does. Like, Daddy's a foyer foyer. <laughs>